example uh, a story can be. You know, a few years ago, I wrote the story of a day in the life of our family during Ramadan, and I wrote it for a national women's magazine. Again, a very simple story, what, what it was like waking up, what we did during the day, what we ate to break our fast. I didn't think anything of it until a few weeks after it was published, I received uh, a message on Facebook and a woman who had read that story, she wrote to me and she said, please accept my intrusion on your privacy. But I, but I read about you online and I read your article I'm a Catholic woman with a 19 year old daughter who told me two weeks ago that she's in the process of converting to become a Muslim. With that sentence, I will tell you that I'm afraid, concerned, confused, cautious, curious, and searching for answers. It was amazing to me to receive this message and she went on to say that I don't know anything about Islam. All I actually know is what I've seen in the media and most of it has been negative and I'm scared. And I read your piece, it gave me a little sense of hope and she took the chance to reach out and sort of find me uh, on, on, through social media and, and write to me. And so we started this journey together. It was an online uh, virtual journey. I sent her some people that she could speak to, some books, some resources to help her during this very difficult, confusing time. And it continued for years. You know, her daughter did convert to Islam. She started wearing the hijab. She met a Muslim man. She, they traveled to Turkey where she got married. And through this process, uh, Annette, and I'm sure Annette is, is, is watching, uh, she would write to me and we would just sort of hold each other's hands virtually. Uh, we hadn't met until very recently, about a year or so ago, when she drove from New Jersey for the day to Washington, D.C. to participate in a Kind Works uh, cooking project. So we finally got to meet uh, Annette and her daughter. But I think this story really captures what a story can do. I mean, I had no idea that this ordinary story would would have this impact, not just on Annette and her family, but on, on all the people that she is now sharing the story with. You know, she has learned about Islam through these experiences, and she shares this with her church group and with the media. And I, I've shared this story as I'm doing now. And so the, the ripple effect is amazing. And I think we just need to be aware that what we think is our ordinary story can have a tremendous, extraordinary impact on the lives of someone else.